it's almost happened to every single one of us at, at some stage in our life whether that people are still overcoming it or people have overcome it and for me if you if you look back of five six years ago uh, I don't think I will be ready during that time to talk about what I talk about it's only because that I didn't know what I wanted yes yes when you I also believe that sometimes confidence comes from knowing what you want and who you are yeah and sometimes also imposter syndrome comes from fear of being judged and and that's exactly fear of being judged is a big thing for all of us and I you know I used to think about that a lot and or someone looking at you or don't look at me you know leave me alone I'm comfortable but I'm uncomfortable when you're looking at me or whatever it might be but the imposter syndrome is a really big thing and when you meet talented people and you can see the talent that they actually have but they don't want to talk about it it's really quite sad it's a lot of inner work to work through though we remember how before that we were talking about the remote control you know yes. the, the preconditioning <laughs> about what we could do what we couldn't do and one of my favorite quotes of les brown is and always live by that is someone's opinions of yours does not become your reality yes and i remember when i was 15 the first time that when i actually read that quote i'm like what that happened and it sort of gives you reflections of that is true in your whole life there's so many people including your family friends strangers colleagues teachers will tell you what you should and what you shouldn't do exactly they, they give you opinions based on their experience they beliefs their values and somehow you live in a world that where you don't have identity on your own because you're conforming yeah to others when deep inside there's something you know chipping away in there there's a magic in there it's wanting to get out but it doesn't know how because you're not letting it get out yeah and that magic you know i i, I had just recently and i want to reiterate this is that i had conversations with amazing women and they didn't want to talk about it the the creativity the magic that they create and only a few people know about it mm. when you could share it with the world and people could enjoy it it's it's and I, I i i suppose it was a lesson i learned there and then too that there are people that are quite happy in their own little bubble yeah can i say that i, I guess it, it could be during that time they are comfortable where they are and it could be they are afraid of some sort At the end of the day imposter syndrome has so much elements underneath it we, we don't know which one is which but i guess for me being able to speak in here it's, it's an example of me knowing you never know maybe someone else out there listen to it and realize oh i do have imposter syndrome and if iris is a high school dropout came here in the age of 15 and can do what she does now be able to support others they noting their voice maybe somehow be able to inspire and empower others so it's no longer about them it's about who they can serve and it's who they can become absolutely you absolutely. know and i say we all have that amazingness and that magic inside us it's just bringing it to the forefront and shining making it shine and building that confidence that self-esteem and that wisdom and being proud of who you are not yeah. not hiding behind something but stepping out and really being who you're meant to be not what others tell you you should be yeah and I really resonate with that I remember when I first started working with Ty and my job was always behind the scenes so I run a lot of operations side of it uh, where for me I always like to say he's he's Asian Justin Bieber and I'm, <laughs> I'm just his manager so my job is to just get him to create as many oh. singles <laughs> and then I can make money out of it uh, 
But during the COVID, I like that. <laughs> you like that, right? <laughs> Maybe I could be Beyonce. I thought, you know what? I can be Asian Beyonce during COVID. And it, I really shift for the last two years. I have achieved so many things that I would never achieve in the last six years in the making in the business. And it because that I, I step up. Yes. I show up, and I thought I didn't want to be in shadows in our company anymore. Yeah. So I can stand right next to him and be shine and be on the same stage at the same time. And because I also have a gift that I want to show to others. And that really shift, a big shift. And, and again, there's a lot of inner work, you know. Um, oh, a huge amount of inner work, isn't it? Yeah, like going through it. Like, you know, you can do it, Iris, you can do it. <laughs> and then there's this little bit saying, oh, no, you can't. Oh, what, who do you think yeah. you are? What do you think you can do? You know better than anyone else. And then you're saying, <laughs> oh, yes, you can do it. You yeah. can do it, Iris. And I the, can do it, Iris. Yeah. And the moment when I stepped up, I, I found the client that I've served stepped up. I found the community that I'm with stepped up. I found that the, the achievement that I could have achieved way more. You know, not talking about just business, but the community achievement uh, and the client achievement as well. And it's all by leading by example and be the leader you wanted to be, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so, become, yeah. it, isn't it, um, uh, become the person, be the change in the world. I can't remember it, Mahatma Gandhi. Oh, I can't remember it. Anyway, you know, be the change you want to be. Yeah. And, and we ourselves have that responsibility. It's nobody else's fault if we don't achieve. It is our own fault. So that we have to look within to say, you know, someone can be saying to you, you and uh, you should, <laughs> and you, you know, all those things, and these little stories in your head are going, oh, I should listen to them. Oh, no, I shouldn't. I should be doing my own stuff. But it's when you do that inner work, and that's what you bring out in people, that inner work to build that self-worth and confidence and self-esteem, to allow them to see the brilliance that they actually have. Yeah, and I we, we shift and we change. We rebranded our company two years ago to You One Group because we believe that anyone can achieve anything that they want. Absolutely. It's You One. Whatever that you say, you can get it. And one of the mantra we have is we do not focus on problem. We identify the problem, but we only focus on what we want because then eliminating all these shiny objects who achieved this who won this oh my god i need to follow her or you know this got this you know it, it's all about focusing on what you want and what you want only yeah and and it's really important that you do focus on who you are and what you want but as we said earlier you must take action so yeah. therefore you have to have a strategy yeah. a plan yeah. and you can chunk it down it doesn't have to be achieved right tomorrow but you can put a date in to say this is my goal this is when i want to achieve it and if you haven't achieved it by that date just move the date don't change the goal yeah because if you really want it you're not going to change the goal yeah and if you get stuck of how to achieve goals you find someone that be able to help you to do that absolutely yeah. absolutely and goals are really important and dreams i mean as a kid you used to dream and you had this amazing imagination. So why can't we have the dreams and this amazing imagination when we're older? Yeah, absolutely. Like you can, mani I always say you can manifest anything you want in life. Absolutely. But you've got to want it badly enough. Yeah. And it's you can feel it. <laughs> yeah. And it's not a need. It's a want. It's yeah. a desire. Yeah. And you take the steps to make it happen regardless of whether someone throws a spanner in the works or not, you'll find a way around it. There's always a way <laughs> of achieving what you want. Absolutely. And I, I know that because I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But it's, it's true. You know, I've always said I wanted a radio show. And, I, and it took me a long time to pluck up the courage to even step into the realm of taking that step but once I took that step you know I'm six years down the track wow I, you don't even look like it yeah 
so you know it was it, it was um a big fear big fear yeah. of mine but and it was a it was a want it was a desire and thank you for uh, allowing yourself to step up because because of this see i'm here today <laughs> so i'm really grateful as well and thank you you know i guess that's one of the really big inspirations for any listener out there is again you know by you stepping up you showing as a sample you're showing a bit of leader sample at the same time again it gives other people's opportunities to yeah and amazing. don't ever say you can't do something because i used to always say to my children it's no such thing as can't get rid of that it's i don't want to that's right and if you don't want to then that's fine but if you want to achieve something and it's not a need it's a want it's a desire and you've got to have that burning desire inside you to achieve and make the goals big and hairy and scary because the bigger and the hairier and scarier they are the better they are when once you've achieved them yeah and and you look back and you realize that wow did i achieve all that yeah and feel proud that yeah. you actually have achieved it and celebrate <laughs> and celebrate and as you said earlier you you know you get all your star all your team and yourselves to celebrate small wins big wins medium wins and it's really important to celebrate and that's what i've learned over a long time someone said to me and i said oh i'd achieved such and such did you celebrate and i'm thinking did i celebrate i probably celebrate all the time <laughs> I probably celebrate all the time, but it's, you know, it, it's like I got this opportunity to go and stay on a farm. Yeah. And it was absolutely magic. Yeah. Magic. And I can work remotely and I had so much fun, you know, catching up with clients and people I'd only Zoomed with. You know, so meeting people face to face and, and doing fun things. And uh, we went on this winery walk. And yeah. it's the Rutherglen Winery Walk. And it was so much fun. We all got dressed up. So I got dressed up as ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I would love to see the photos. <laughs> and, and, and had my fur coat on because it was freezing. <laughs> but you would have seen the people that were all dressed up in amazing costumes. They looked um, absolutely brilliant and had so much fun. You know, you just get on the bus, you get off the bus, you go do it your wine tasting and whatever and whatever and then you get on and you go to the next one and you have conversations with people you've never met before and and it was wonderful just to experience that sort yeah. of thing i'm going back next year oh wow <laughs> take me there <laughs> you, can come. you can come the more the merrier yeah the more the merrier but it's it, it's things like that 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 um are your rewards yeah yeah you you when you talk about farm and wine it reminded me of uh, early uh, this year in march that i got an opportunity to become a tv co-star uh, cast member for tv charity global uh it eventually all starts so what they do is they get all the different charity together and we will fundraise for different charity and my selected charity was project karma now, Project Karma is to help combat uh, child sexual trafficking, oh, right, um, yeah. online sexual crime, uh, within Australia and Southeast Asia. And we've got about 12 cast members, right? And it has been postponed from last year till this year. And we, were, we weren't sure that if this is going to film or not because of pandemic. Yeah. Because, because one of the things that for the TV show is you, know, you actually don't know where they're taking you, the location. Yeah. So eventually they, they took us to Gippsland. oh yeah it's yeah fabulous up there and each day we actually don't know what type of adventure that we're gonna have you know we were staying in these beautiful accommodations and it has like like a farm as well oh really yeah yeah oh. we get to you know drink wine a bit of alcohol at the end of the filming each day and we had so much fun and you know for me it's about doing that philanthropy work and being reward for the philanthropy work yes because we fund ways over one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for the charity congratulations well done Thank you. and at the same time get to spend the time within all the people that we care so the 12 of us i think eight of us that is we all our girls yeah um so it's like a girl's trip yeah <laughs> so we <laughs> yes how long did you go for? 
we went for six days. Oh, wow. Oh, and like... It would have been brilliant. Yeah. So every day, each day you have two activities. Right. Uh, you wouldn't know what activity that, that would be. Uh, but I did actually tell them that I actually couldn't swim. Oh, so, so you got that. And I, I have... <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to swim. And then I have fear of heights. So um, I couldn't... So all the activities was things that, that I was fear of. So I actually had to overcome all those within the six, seven days, which is uh, yeah, quite an interesting. But yeah. I don't want to do a small alert because that the, it will air at the end of this year. Yeah. And what was it like for you? Did they take you up high? Yeah. And what was it like? What was the feeling like? Well, share that. Yeah. So I knew one of the things that I feel of was fear of heights and because and also I don't know how to swim so fear of heights when I got onto all the way to the top where I can see the skies I was lucky I didn't pee my pants <laughs> <you imagine? laughs> uh, I remember uh, I had to hold one of the cast member hands so tight that she almost screamed at first uh, but when you actually get there again sometimes we often create problem ourselves yeah well we do yeah and we create the problem bigger than what it is yep absolutely yeah and you know all the thing about not being safe enough you know what it happened that you fell and all those all those sort of things that it, it go disappear once you realize that you're in a very safe environment so i had so much fun throughout the six days whether that it is to overcome the fear of heights to overcome the fear of not being able to swim i could proud saying that i've done it all now <laughs> yay well done well done great achievement yeah. that is excellent okay we're going for a break and when we come back i'm just going to turn this off